Let's take a look at some videos here like, that we'll react to. Should I save or invest? Because with money, it requires a lot of faith. Your money to grow. Your, what is the person? your business. Let's take a look at this video. That has $236. Invest it all in yourself. You're already broke. Don't hold on to $236. Our parents, they taught us to save money. You know? Yeah, this 100%. Is they taught us to buy houses. Both those ideas are for banks. They're not for you. So save your money. The bank benefits. He doesn't. As soon as he puts the money in the bank, whatever the number is, he puts the baby money. They look at it. They like right, baby so money. What sure. they do is they multiply. Yeah. How many people can yeah. we get? Yeah, that's, that's, that's great. Um, uh, yeah, no, you have No, you do both. You, do, you don't forego saving and just completely investing. That's the reason why I probably get reason why a lot of people get in a lot of financial problems because the only thing is just invest, invest, invest without saving along the way. Had Patrick Bed David not invested and saved at the same time, PHP would never gotten started. Oh. So he made money, invested money, put money inside his mutual funds, put money inside his policy. The, the, you, do, you do both. Mm -hmm. And so that's what Sheena and I did. We do both. You save and invest because you need capital. Cash right now, uh, with the markets going on, History favors those that have cash. Right now, we're, we're buying property. My, my parents are selling property. Uh, they're favoring the ones that got cash buyers. Yeah, you know, cash is cash flow is king. Cash is queen, and you know, credits. You you need credit uh, for, you know, in this world, so you, you need to do both. Let's go to the next one. Let's, let's just stop. At, at, I, I have rap in the program. I did a weird weekends episode about rap. Okay, stop right there. You become who you hang with. Okay, correct. Would you? One hundred percent. Okay, number two. Uh, money don't jiggle, jiggle. Jiggle. Okay, number two, money doesn't make you happy, but it does reduce. Oh, I'm sorry, brother. It, listen, money doesn't make. Uh, yeah, it made me a lot happy. When my bills were paid, yeah. when Alessra, I'm very happy. Yeah. When I got money in the bank, I'm very happy. Um, you know, uh, but there's people there that are just not grateful. So there, there's a flip side to that. But at least they got money. Number yeah. three, what's number three? It folds. I like to see you wiggle, wiggle. Sure. Uh, they are, have businesses and all sorts of, of course. Yeah. Yeah. You create the money to invest. Yeah. Create the cash flow, the abundance to have that money continue working for you. Would you agree with that? 1,000%. Yeah. The, the next one. Make me want to dribble, dribble. You know. Fourth, it's not about the money. It's about who you become. For sure. I mean, what, what's it all for? Yeah. You know, you, you, uh, what, what's your desire to make a lot of money? The greater cause. My nonprofit. That's my biggest thing. Being able to give back. I think yeah. everyone has that, right? And by the way, bro, if you want to build a nonprofit, you want to build a community center, you know, you're building a gym, right? You, you, yeah. You're building a pl Sadly, those are non-profitable non type businesses. Yeah. Are very tough, very slim margin yeah. on those businesses. So you need to make a lot of money from another source mm -hmm. so that we can fund that nonprofit to be a better, better contributor. So it's, people say, well, I just want to help people. Bro, you better, by helping people, you got to help yourself first. For a season of your life, can you be selfish? Because you can't give what you ain't got. Uh, what's the last one, Jordan? I didn't my fear. You really have be to be a lifelong learner. Don't stop learning. Don't stop. Of course. Okay. I was just telling that to my staff here because my staff was getting, you know, she was kind of getting down on herself because uh, certain things that were expected of her, you know, may not be at the most optimal um, standard. I told her, listen, I'm patient with you. You're, you're loyal, you're committed, you have high character. Uh, the cool thing about this, would you rather work with somebody with low skill set, high character? Or low character, high skill set. Oh. High character, low skill set. High skill set, low character. Who would you prefer to work with? Character. High character? High character. How come? So you, you, you're, it's easier to build. It's easier to teach. Of course. Right? Yeah, 1,000%. I can teach you skill. Yeah. I can't teach you character. Right. You know, character, I mean, you're talking about a whole lifelong, how you've been operating for 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years of your life, that's your character. I can't unwind that in 30 days with me. Yeah. What's, what's the next video? A short lesson on interest? Dad, any chance I could borrow twenty dollars? I'll pay you back next week. Oh, can I do that as well? Happily, kids. Here you both go. One week later. Here's your money, Dad. But could I maybe borrow fifty dollars this week? Yep, that sounds fine to me. Dad, could I borrow maybe like another twenty dollars? I'll pay you back for both twenties that I owe you next week. Also fine, but I want forty-five dollars next week. Wait, that's not fair. Why do I owe more than I've borrowed and she doesn't? She paid me back on time. In full, so I trust her a lot more than you, and I'm going to charge you interest to cover that risk. I feel like there's going to be a lesson in there somewhere, so I'm going to follow you for more. Mm. We were talking about uh, loaning money Not to deep. friends and family last week. What are yeah. your thoughts about this short lesson in interest? I agree. I think you be able to build trust, and that's something uh, that I brought up last week as well. Yeah, but the two times that I've asked for money, that I have asked for a loan from a, from a close person of mine. I, I told him, here, this is what I'm willing to pay you. Um, if you want to charge me interest, give me the interest rate. I'm willing to pay the interest rate as long as it's reasonable. 
Uh, just give me one year. Give me a 12-month span to be able to pay you back. And what I would normally do is pay them back within eight months or six months, uh, the shortest, so we can build that trust. Proverbs 22.7, yeah. the rich ruleth over the poor, and the borrower is servant to the lender. Proverbs, again, if you guys don't read the Bible, Proverbs was written by King Solomon, the, the wisest and richest king who ever lived. So uh, the idea is for you to become your own bank. Mm. So therefore, the interest goes to you, your family, your bank. Money still circulates. That's why it's called currency. But money needs to circulate. And the more it can circulate to your own bank versus Capital One versus Bank of America, et cetera, et cetera. Listen, banking is required, but banks are not. And we're finding this out right now with all these bank failures that's going on. Banking is required. You need to become the bank. Take care of your finances. Save money. Make a lot of money. Save a lot of money. And get ready for opportunities in which you can invest. Let's go to the next video, uh, Jordan. Five things, uh, um, I'll say, uh, was it gr growing up in a lower class family? Here's the thing. If you grew up in a lower income family and a middle class family, you probably weren't taught how to build wealth. You were True. probably taught how to save, um, how to get a car payment, how to use credit cards, how to do all these things, but you weren't taught how to build wealth and win with money. So if you continue to listen to people in those socioeconomic classes about how to handle money, you're going to stay in those classes and ultimately not be able to build wealth and become wealthy. I love it. Uh, I, I got thoughts. Hey, what's, your, what's your thoughts on it? No, go ahead. I want to, I want to, listen, your life changed by three things. The books you read. So what are people in uh, lower middle class, middle class families reading? They're not reading the right books. Right? I started reading Rich Dad, Poor Dad, uh, The Power of uh, Positive Thinking, The Magic of Thinking Big, uh, The Richest Man in Babylon, How I Raised Myself and Faced a Success in Selling, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I can name of all the initial books that started changing my paradigm of how I looked at life, because how you think things is how you see things, and how you th see things is how you do things. And how you do things, that's your destiny, that's where you're going to lead the rest of your life and for future generations. You know, Ruben sent me a text the other day. He says, Dad, thank you for giving me an example of work ethic. Send me a text out of nowhere. Dad, thank you for giving me the example of work ethic. That's it. That, I, he's inherited that by watching his dad hustle. Yeah. And now guess what he wants to do? He wants to hustle. So, you, so your life changed by the books you read, the people you surround yourself with, and the meetings and events you attend. So if you find yourself, kind of find yourself at the clubs. Kind of find yourself in, in too many barbecues versus conferences and masterminds. If you constantly find yourself around people that go, hey, let's, what are we doing this Thursday, Friday, Saturday, versus saying, hey, where can we go so therefore we can be a better steward, how we can be a better investor, how we can be a better um, manifester of the, the talents that have uh, been bestowed upon us. If you're not finding yourself around those people, your life is going nowhere. So if you like that clip, please watch this one right here. If you want to see the full podcast, click right here.